Hello all, in this video we are going to discuss about a few reasons that why community medicine is important among all other subjects and why an MBBS student must learn community medicine thoroughly. These are all few reasons that I, I have prioritized. There may be, uh, there are many I would have missed it, that you can uh, uh, discuss uh, with me in comment section. So here right now I am uh, straight away going to the reason. The eighth reason which I point out will be uh, the history of medicine. History of medicine is beautifully uh, dealt in community medicine uh, when compared to any other subject starting from ancient uh, ages uh, to till date it has uh, discussed such, a, uh, such beautifully. Then the seventh point is preventive medicine. The community medicine was previously uh, called as social and preventive medicine. Preventive medicine is not uh, a measurable medicine, but a pleasurable medicine. Here you have to note a point that when a clinician uh, teach, uh, treats 50 cases of dengue, uh, it is easily measurable. But a uh, epidemiologist, when he prevents 5 lakh cases of dengue, it is not measurable, but again it is pleasurable. Then the sixth point here is concept of health. Clinicians always treat individual patients. Epidemiologists treat with populations. Clinicians always mention I, I, I. Epidemiologists say B, B, B. So clinicians are stuck with illness. Whereas epidemiologists go one step beyond and treat wellness. You have to remember the wellness that is the health and the illness and the disease are not separated by a very narrow line. But by here you have to understand the fact that you have to promote health, maintain health and treat the disease, preventive medicine, cure the disease. So all has been comprehensively dealt only in community medicine. Then coming to the fifth point, that is the chapter of environment. The dirty tag for the community medicine has been uh, derived from this chapter. That is, this chapter deals with all dirty things like garbage, toilet, mosquitoes and all. But if uh, you read these chapters, this, there is such a beautiful science which is hidden behind these uh, concepts. And now my fourth point is the sociology, which is the most neglected uh, topics uh, uh, in, in, in all, among all the chapters of community medicine. Here, we have to understand one thing. When some group of people tries to cheat uh, the common, uh, common uh, man, they does that very easily, very comfortably. See, for example, a person who is selling false medicine, who wants to sell a low quality product like saris or etc. They are selling it very comfortably. People are believing those kind of people. Instead, the doctors who, get, uh, who treat the disease are getting uh, uh, beaten by the people. So that is, we are subjected to lots of violence. Why this happens is because we never try to read this sociology that is the study of human behavior and how to emotionally bond with the patient. So that concept is the most neglected and when that is focused, all this doctor-personal relationship will be very beautiful in future. Then the third point I am giving uh, here is the research. Whenever you uh, uh, hear this word research or any terms related to research such as statistics or uh, your um, study design or anything related to research, you will remember community medicine. At least when you join uh, a PG course, uh, during that time uh, when MD thesis is made mandatory, you are compelled to do that thesis, definitely at that point of time, 
you would have regretted i would have learned a better research in my ug days in community medicine so that is my second third point moving on to the second point the concept of primary health care is taught only in community medicine under what are all programs from the government of india and tamil nadu or the any other state is uh, uh, how the diseases are targeted all these things are dealt only in community medicine and moreover the primary health centers uh, uh, where about 30% of mbbs uh, outgoing students will be um, uh, uh, employed there so those that setting is itself is taught and uh, people, students are uh, exposed to, to those settings only by uh, uh, this uh, community medicine then the top most uh, reason is see if you are not con- convinced with the reason which i have told you right now this reason you cannot deny no sir i will i am not and i just want to uh, pass community medicine and i will go to some other specialty good uh, uh, wherever you go community medicine the concept of community medicine will not leave you but uh, this point is the point here is for entrance exams you will get maximum number of questions from community medicine after general medicine and many times pediatrics obstetrics uh, and uh, general medicine the questions will be from community medicine based so this is the second uh, most important prioritized subject in your entrance then most important is out out of this uh, questions 80 to 90% of the questions you can answer directly from park which no other textbook can do for uh, your entrance preparation so this is my number one reason for entrance preparation community medicine is very important now with this uh, reasons i am ending my 